Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today it's another lovely day about reef tanks. And I just wanted to talk to you guys today about sumps. Um, every once in a while, I'll do some maintenance on my refugium and my sump, and normally this is covered up. And you guys can see, I haven't checked this out in a while. Look how much coralline algae has grown over the side of the sump. Now this is just a 55 gallon um, tank that I put under the 110 and I use as extra water and a refugium. And I haven't really paid attention to this. Normally I throw in some stuff, but there's a fox face down here somewhere. You can see him hiding. Um, he changes colors when he sees me, he gets a little scared. There he is. So anyway, I'm gonna give this thing a good cleaning, but I just wanted to show you guys what happens when you have a tank that's undisturbed. Every ecosystem is different. Now this refugium is completely different um, than the one over there. This is under the 220 gallon display tank. And you can see I have two of these daylight bulbs are on. They're LED bulbs, um, just regular bulbs. Everyone always asks. Um, there you go, you can see it. Um, I always choose the daylight. And look at this system. It's completely grown. I need to rip it all out of there. Um, but you can see how every ecosystem is different. So over here, there is a fox face in there, so he will eat any of the algae that grows, but he's not really going to mess with this coralline. So you can see how it's just growing out of control. There's no light over here, so this tank, there's nothing growing in there except for some filter feeders, non-photosynthetic things. Um, and then these refugiums over here, I have different types of chato and different macroalgaes in each side. So I'm starting to get more of a balanced ecosystem with refugiums just so that they can serve a better purpose and they don't just grow out of control and the nuisance algae doesn't bother it. So no one really eats this red crap, um, but it does suck up phosphates and nitrates, so I tend to let it grow. Um, but I will clean out any heavy spots or any spots that look like they're brown or dying. So. You can see here, um, I need to increase the water movement. There's almost no water movement. Turn this thing on. So anyway, there you guys go. I just wanted to show you a quick tour of the, the different refugiums. But, but anyway, everything's a different individual ecosystem. The crabs you have, the fish you have, the sea urchins, this long spine is pretty crazy, but everything serves a purpose. Um, the little babies, when the fish, you know, um, depending on what type of fish it is, maybe a little uh, trigger or something, they will hide inside the spine so that they don't get eaten by the other fish. So it's pretty awesome. If you don't have that, then the fish may get eaten. Um, you know, if you don't have tanks cleaning the rocks and the algae off, you may have an algae bloom, you may have some long hair algae. But you can see over here, these tangs, I feed them a little too much. My fish are fat, um, but I guess it keeps the aggression down. There's a lot of fish in here. So, there you guys go. Thanks again for watching. As always, happy reefing. Um, I'm gonna try to do a couple trending videos, like top five corals, um, five top five mistakes that people do. So if you guys have any ideas and you wanna throw me some feedback on what you'd like to see, feel free to do so, and I will make a video about it. As always, guys, thanks again. As always, happy reefing. Happy, 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 happy reefing. It's good for you, right? No stress, only success. You don't want to make this um, a headache. But fish tanks, if you don't take care of them, you don't stay on your maintenance schedule, you can have problems. So... Do your homework, pay attention. Water test on a regular schedule. These are all things that I will be teaching you guys. So I want you to avoid making those costly errors. I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on stupid mistakes. So I want you guys to avoid that. But there you go.